All right, let's check this out. <laughs> Cute. Cool. I like it. Let's see. How long is the bunny's arm? So that's the only thing in terms of visuals. Just a couple of things where um, I'm starting picky already, but like, so is the bunny holding, a, it must be the thing is on a stick. I would still love to have a little bit of a uh, slight rotation in here. So there's a little drag or maybe you have something in the leafy part here. But the main thing is that as you go here, it really aligns with that ear. It would be really great to get the ear back like this so that the stick is a bit cleaner. And here's your carrot with the leaves. So you have a clear view of the stick, the head, ears are back, and then here's the carrot. Versus stick, ear, arm, not seeing anything. So that would be, to me, the biggest thing. And then when you have the stick go back, back down back up like nothing else is going here and i know it's like a smaller thing it's not fully mechanics like it's it's this is moving but it, i would still imagine as the arm goes back it will your bunny will go back a little bit and there might be a slight rotation in y will twist in your chest then as you go up here with the bunny it'd be great again it's imagine the stick is here and it's all nice here. Then you go forward. The ears will drag. And also the stick might go back a bit as the body goes forward. It's almost like the body is going to um, lead that whole action just a bit more. Then what's going on here? The thing changes color. Guy sees it. And this is what activates him to go forward. Okay. I mean, it would be neat to cheat and get that bunny arm here. Stick here. And then the carrot here, really in front of him. So it's not like that high. And he has to kind of look at really through the corner of his eyes. I love that there's another one in his ear. <laughs> That's funny. And then as your character goes back here, I think it'll be a much bigger drag on that ear to go from this to this. And then it would overlap already hard here and swing out and then really drag here on both as well like that ear has to go up and drag and then the same with the head as you go down that head will be up here so be dragging a bit more and then it gets a bit wobbly even though the head goes down and over i would keep the spacing on this a bit cleaner so that the head doesn't go forward and then it's only left and then something to the right and it's only up. On the up, I would definitely press the head here against the guy with the ears like that. And then it, it would probably still be here. And then the next frame, that could the head could be here. And then it starts to relax, ears, relax, ears, and maybe even lower. So you have a bit of a like that. And then the same thing for the rest. It's just like on big moves with the body here. I don't quite feel there's enough drag over, except here. Here it feels nicer as the, the ears drag and then, and then have that drag this way. But then it feels a bit late. So as the ears go forward or as the body stops, the ears moving forward is like two frames late. And then the character's pretty cool, though. I mean, it would be nice to get a little bit of... Well, he has a little bit, but A, it's a bit of a tangent. I'll take that arm and move it over here so that you can free up a negative space through there. And I will probably do the the breathing, the stronger up and down breathing. Right now, it feels like it's just a translate up in these, but I would rotate up a bit and the head goes up a bit, you know, from like a nose from... The lower part, uh, let's see here. 
like the no the head is here or the nose is here and then we'll go maybe up to here that amount of uh breathing then he's got a reaction i think that's okay watch out spacing is a bit wonky there get some onion skinning in here um Yeah, it's right through there. So as your hand, you can track this side. Goes up, like you go from down here, up, up, and then it kind of goes back down. See that, like this, the thumb is almost locking in space here. So I will go up and down, a bit of more of a drag overlap. And then same thing here, your, arm, your hand goes here to here to here. It's just a bit harsh, and I think you could have bit of a wrist drag a bit so you soften that spacing there and then if you go I will go into something where the fingers are maybe out a bit more and then then get to hold on then get to a pose you have here so like they start out and then they go in over time It's not too bad on the arc there. It's a bit fast through there. So basically what's happening like your your wrist is here, 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 down, and then suddenly over here, over here, over here. So if you look at that spacing, like your your next arm position should be here. And then next one will be here. And then it could be here. And then it could be a bit lower. And then up there. Right, so you have a nicer, a nicer arc. Same thing here. Your arm gets kind of stuck into the space through there, these two frames. And then suddenly shoots up. It feels a bit broken visually there as well. Can adjust your Maybe your wrist pose there, but the arc after that feels nice. It just suddenly pops up a bit, a bit harshly. But then as you have such a huge swing from here to here to here, right? If you look at, let's say from here on, bang, bang, suddenly does this and then goes up here. And that, how far do we go? And then just this. It feels a bit harsh. Feels like you're doing this. So you could have on this frame could be over here and then down here and then you get to here and there so it's a bit cleaner of an arc so just overall watch for your arcs spacing and then you know going back to not overlapping too much so basically your hand could be could be like this it's a little bit close but it could work bit of a tangent with the horizon line there but generally Bit further out would be nice in terms of a cleaner silhouette compared to just overlapping there and i think that's kind of that i'll leave it at that a little picky things here and there could probably push the face a bit more and he goes Rah! and then here it could almost close his eyes because you don't see his eyes anyway so you could close bring down the eyebrows almost like a, a, a facial squish and then you go back into ah, eyes up open mouth and then into what do you have here but through all of that it would be nice to get a bit of a like an opening and a closing just a bit more variation in uh in that facial area there doing his his uh, crazy town move yeah it feels like it's a bit stuck in that same pose through there and then careful here this feels more like it's just kind of sliding back I'll give this, and I think you're overextending that leg as well a bit. It feels a bit poppy there in your, in your IK, right there. But this, you have to think of what is this? I mean, could he just not lean over, and be a bit more like that, and then you can have that that foot, you know, a little bend there and a foot in the air, to then plant it back into this. And it's tricky because it's in a in a, a treadmill. Just make sure that this kind of works. I'm not sure what's going on. He rests. And then he starts to 
slide the thing down. This foot seems fairly rested. This is a slide back before an actual step. But this doesn't quite make sense. This almost feels like, no, you're starting out a cycle of a walk and he's technically moving forward. But if he does that, then this foot would have to slide back and get off the ground. So also double check the mechanics of the feet in terms of, uh, I'm also watch out, it will pop there and that, and that like there. How the mechanics work of that cycle. So I would take all of this and test it and have the character actually go from A over to B. All right. Okay. And I'll leave it at that. That's it. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.